गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स मेजर थियरी के इस लेक्चर सीरीज में अब तक आपने पढ़ा हुआ है मेजरेबल सेट्स सो हाउ टू डिफाइन मेजरेबल सेट्स और उसके बाद आपने पढ़ा मेजरेबल फंक्शन एंड देयर प्रॉपर्टीज़ अब हम लोग स्टार्ट करने वाले हैं लिबेग इंटग्रल ऑफ अ फंक्शन तो आपको ध्यान होगा आपने इसके पहले अंडर ग्रेजुएट कोर्सेस में रिमान इंटग्रल पढ़ा हुआ है और उसके बाद आर एस इंटेग्रल इन एम एस फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर क्लासेस अब हम लोग स्टार्ट करने वाले हैं लिबेग इंटग्रल ऑफ अ फंक्शन और इस लेक्चर में हम लोग ये भी देखेंगे कि रिमान इंटग्रल और लिबेग इंटग्रल में क्या फ़र्क है दोनों किस तरह से परिभाषित होते हैं तो सबसे पहले ये आपने डिफाइन किया था रिमान इंटेग्रल या आर एस इंटेग्रल के लिए आप डिफाइन करते हैं पार्टीशन ऑफ एन इंटरवल सो इन द सेम वे लेट एस डिफाइन पार्टीशन और पार्टीशन ऑफ अ क्लोज इंटरवल ए बी सो वी टेक टू फाइनाइट रियल नंबर्स ए एंड बी एंड वी डिफाइन अ मेजरेबल पार्टीशन ऑफ क्लोज इंटरवल ए बी सो लेट एस सी हाउ टू डिफाइन सो बाई अ मेजरेबल पार्टीशन ऑफ ए बी वी मीन एनी फाइनाइट कलेक्शन एस आर ऑफ मेजरेबल सबसेट्स ऑफ ए बी सच दैट यूनियन ऑफ आल दीज एस आर इज इक्वल टू दिस क्लोज इंटरवल ए बी एंड देयर मेजर ऑफ पेयर वाइज इंटरसेक्शंस ऑफ दीज मेजरेबल सबसेट्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड मेजर ऑफ दीज पेयर वाइज मेजरेबल सबसेट्स ऑफ क्लोज इंटरवल इज जीरो सो द पार्टीशन ऑफ एन इंटरवल इज यू नो इट इज डिनोटेड बाई पी एंड दीज एस वन एस टू एस एन आर कॉल्ड द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द पार्टीशन सो सिम्बोलिकली वी राइट पी एज एस वन एस टू एंड सो ऑन एस एन सो दस अ मेजरेबल पार्टीशन पी ऑफ एन इंटरवल ए बी इज नथिंग बट अ फाइनाइट कलेक्शन ऑफ सबसेट्स ऑफ ए बी हुज यूनियन इज द होल ए बी एंड हुज पेयर वाइज इंटरसेक्शन हैव द मेजर जीरो सो दिस यूनियन इज होल ए बी एंड पेयर वाइज इंटरसेक्शन हैव द मेजर जीरो सो द क्वेश्चन एराइज हियर वट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस सब डिविजन दिस सब डिविजन एंड दैट सब डिविजन ऑफ ए बी विच आर विच वी डीड फॉर द रिमैन इंटेग्रल सो लेट एस सिस्टम ऑब्जर्वेशन सो वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू सब डिविजन इफ यू टेक वाई वाई जीरो वाई एन इंटरमीडिएट वैल्यूज एन प्लस वन इंटरमीडिएट वैल्यूज बिटवीन ए एंड बी एंड विल राइट दिस देन दिस कलेक्शन वाई जीरो वाई वन वाई टू वाई एन गिव अ रिमैन सब डिविजन ऑफ ए बी एंड विथ कंपोनेंट्स and the component interval are y0 y1 this is the first interval y1 y2 second interval and so on yn minus y yn minus 1 yn this is the nth sub interval so note that this collection p i1 y2 i2 i3 in is forming a measurable partition of closed interval ab so thus in case of riemann subdivisions the components are necessarily intervals while in case of lebesgue partition the components are any sets so many measurable partitions do not have interval components for example the collection e1 e2 is a measurable partition of closed interval ab where e1 and e2 are the set of all rational and irrational numbers of interval ab respectively now for riemann integral we have studied how to define refinement of a partition in the same way let us define refinement of a partition so let p be a measurable partition of closed interval ab and p star be another measurable partition we are taking here measurable partition measurable partition of ab such that every component of p star is contained in some component of p then p star is called refinement of p this is the refinement uh, definition of refinement which we have studied earlier so p s p star can be constructed by breaking up some components of p symbolically it is written as p is contained in p star so if we take two different partitions p s1 s2 sn and q t1 t2 tm be two measurable partitions of ab then the partition pq which is defined by this one the partition pq whose components are the sets si intersection tj for all i and j is common refinement to both p and q thus the partition pq the common partition of p and q is defined by this 
Now, some more definitions, some more terms uh, which are needed to define Lebesgue integral. So, suppose E be a subset of AB and F be a bounded function on AB. Then we define M F E. This is the supremum of this is the supremum of f x supremum of f x over e for all x belongs to e and this small m f e this denotes the infimum of f x infimum of f x over e infimum of f x over e. So, these two symbols are important capital M f e is supremum of f x over e and small m f e is the infimum of f x over e. So, with the help of these two terms capital M f e and small f m f e we define lower and upper Lebesgue sums. So, we are taking a partition P having measurable components S 1, S 2, S n with the measurable partition of closed interval A b and F be a bounded function defined on closed interval A b. Then we define U P f we have studied in Riemann integral U P f that means, in case of Riemann integral in case of Riemann integral we define u p f u p f means means upper Riemann sum upper Riemann sum in the same way u p f or u f v that is the upper Lebesgue sum which is defined by summation r from 1 to n m f s r all these s are the measurable components of the partition measurable components of the partition and m s r m s r is the Lebesgue measure of individual s r Lebesgue measure of m s r. Similarly, L p f in lower lower Lebesgue sum L p f lower Lebesgue sum and it is defined by small m f s r in the in the previous page we have studied m f s r m f s r is the supremum of all f supremum of all f over s r and small m f r is infimum of all f x over s r and s r are the individual component individual component of the partition and m, m s r is the Lebesgue measure of particular s r. So, it is obvious that this L p f this is lower Lebesgue sum is less or equal to upper Lebesgue sum in Riemann integral. So, what is difference between these two Riemann integral Riemann sum and uh, in Lebesgue sum. So, in case of Riemann sum we define small m r this is the infimum of all f x and this infimum is taken over that sub interval x r minus 1 x r over that sub interval and capital M r capital M r represents the supremum of all f x which are taken over that sub particular sub interval particular sub interval of closed interval a b. So, with the help of these small m r and capital M r we define upper Riemann sum u p f this is the m r del x r. So, what represent del x r? Del x r is the length of particular sub interval x r minus x r minus 1 this represents the length. length. But in case of Lebesgue, Lebesgue sum this represents the measure of that particular measurable subset measure, measure of that particular subset. And similarly, L p f this is the lower Riemann sum lower Riemann sum. So, L p f is <coughs> small m r del x r. So, small m r small m r this represents the infimum of f x infimum of f x over that particular sub interval of closed interval a b while in case of Lebesgue lower sum lower Lebesgue sum this m f s r this represents the infimum of these f x these bounded f x which are defined over this particular s r and s r are the measurable component of partition P measurable subset of closed interval A B. So, these are the difference. So, L P f in case of Riemann sum integral uh, Riemann integral we also know that L P f is less or equal to U P f. So, in the same way uh, in case of Lebesgue integral. So, this uh, lower Lebesgue sum is less or equal to upper Lebesgue sum further note that if S 1 S 2 S n are the interval components of Riemann subdivision sigma of the interval a b then the a above definition this one this two the a above definition of upper Lebesgue sum this becomes the same as upper Riemann integral and similarly 
the lower Lebesgue sum becomes the lower because uh, here we take this is the measure of this particular um, subset of AB and here del XR is the length of the interval length of the interval. So, these are the basic differences. So, <coughs> now we define Lebesgue integral for bounded function and AB. So, to define Lebesgue integral for bounded function we will define upper and lower Lebesgue integrals upper and lower Lebesgue integrals. So, how to define upper and lower Lebesgue integral suppose f, e, f is a bounded function suppose f be a bounded function unclosed interval a b then the supremum of this supremum of lower Lebesgue sum supremum of l p q l f q sorry supremum of l f q in a supremum of lower Lebesgue sum is called lower Lebesgue integral and it is denoted by l this represents the for Lebesgue l stands for Lebesgue Lebesgue integral. So, integration a b uh, and here a symbol we are uh, seeing here a have underline. So, this a underline represents the lower Lebesgue integral of f x and supremum is taken over all me measurable partition q of a b. Similarly, the infimum of upper Lebesgue sum infimum of upper Lebesgue sum u f p is called the upper Lebesgue, Lebesgue integral. So, first of all we define lower Lebesgue sum and upper Lebesgue sum then we take the supremum of lower Lebesgue sum that is called the lower Riemann integral and the infimum of upper uh, Lebesgue sum this is called the infimum of this upper Lebesgue sum this is called the upper Lebesgue integral and it is denoted by L. So, L stands for Lebesgue integral I integration from A to B integration is taken over the interval A B and B is the its upper limit B is its upper limit. So, uh, over line over B we are seeing here this represents the upper integral of f x. So, in conclusion um, <coughs> lower integral lower Lebesgue integral is supremum of L f q and q is a measurable partition of A B and Lebesgue upper integral this is the infimum of u f p and p is a measurable partition of a b. So, for simplicity sometimes we denote the lower and upper integral of f by l lower integral. So, limit a to b f and uh, an underline taken over a this represents the lower Lebesgue integral and uh, over line over b is written. So, this represents the upper Lebesgue integral and instead of writing f x d x we write f and this f. These are some observations lower Lebesgue sum. So, in, in place of f if we write minus f then this is same as the minus times upper Lebesgue sum and similarly in, in, in the definition of upper Lebesgue sum if we replace f by minus f then this is same as the negative times of lower Lebesgue sum taken over the same partition. So, with the help of these two uh, the properties of Lebesgue integral are these and these. So, next. So, to detail proof the detail proof of all these results and theorems I am sending you in a PDF format. So, some important remarks are here these are notable. So, lower <coughs> lower uh, Lebesgue integral is greater or equal to lower Lebesgue sum over the same over that partition and upper uh, Lebesgue integral is less or equal to the upper Lebesgue sum taken over that partition. For every epsilon greater than 0 however small there always exist at least one partition p dash such that lower this is the upper integral upper integral upper Lebesgue integral f plus epsilon is greater than uh, upper Lebesgue sum. Similarly, for epsilon greater than 0 however small there always exists at least one partition q dash such that uh, lower Lebesgue integral f minus epsilon is less than lower Lebesgue sum. So, what is Lebesgue integral? We have defined earlier upper Lebesgue integral and lower Lebesgue integral. So, what is Lebesgue integral? So, the definition of Lebesgue integral says that if you take a bounded function defined on the closed interval a b we say that f is Lebesgue integrable over this closed interval if and only if 
its lower Lebesgue integral is same as its upper Lebesgue integral and their common value is called L integral of f on closed interval a b and it is denoted by L integral a to b f. We shall denote by L a b the class of all bounded functions of f which are Lebesgue integrable on a b. Thus, f belongs to a b, f belongs to a b if and only if f is L integrable on a b. The numbers a and b are called the lower and upper limits of integration respectively as we know further integrations. Now, let us see some remarks on Lebesgue integral. The concept of integrability of a function over an interval over an interval as introduced here is to subject to very important limitations. So, what are limitations? The function which we have taken is bounded, the function is bounded. The interval of integration is finite, so that neither of the endpoints is finite closed interval. We are writing closed interval a b. So, a and b both should be finite. Every bounded function is not necessarily integrable. That is, may <coughs> there may exist a bounded function f for which the lower Lebesgue integral cannot equal to upper Lebesgue integral. The statement that integral a to b f exists means that the function f is bounded and integrable over a b. So, thanks for watching and keep study and I am sending you the PDF form, PDF of this material. Thank you.